more rest, okay? Because also remember, these people have been attacking in, in the spirit. So also when you know, you need to get that rest, okay? Because um, for yourself and also because, you know, um, when we sleep too, we, you, we, you know, we, we fight in the, the battle in the spiritual realm, okay? So God needs his, his warriors, you know what I mean? Yeah, you're getting some sort of quick communication or they are that you are a star, my darling. You're a healer. You're definitely a healer. You're extremely gifted. You, yeah, this is your hidden talent. You have, or you're a hidden star, okay? That you're an up and coming star. You're a hidden star. Um, I feel like you have some sort of healing gifts that you're unaware of. Yep. And there's a decision being made. You are a star here. Somebody might be offering you a job that's going to that's put you in the limelight. Scum buckets. Somebody could have sold their soul to the devil for fame, possibly. That ain't happening. And these other people that had to do that, my left ear is ringing. Um, these other people that had to do that, that went into that, they're butt hurt that you're that you're getting this like some sort of fame or like you are the star and you didn't have to sell your soul. You did everything in the upright. So that's another reason you're also getting attacked by um, famous people, which is insane to me. You'll be surprised how many famous people actually know who you are. That know your name, know who you are, and everything else. They don't. You don't. <laughs> you, that you're, you're like you're like you probably some people that you look up to, some people that you truly love. They they've been known you because they they, they knew you were a star seed. The ones in like the occult coven secret society. I mean, maybe actual like good ones too. I don't know. Not all famous people. Okay, not all musicians. Not all you know um, actors and actresses are. Are um, you know they're not all evil, okay? They're not all like devil worshippers. They didn't all sell their souls, okay? Um, God has His angels in there too that are doing things in the upright. Like look at Tom McDonald. He doesn't have no label, nothing like that. Not everybody that had, that is signed did. Not everybody did that, okay? Um, but there are you know you're going to be one of these people that are the good ones that are going to be famous. Maybe you're going to be a famous healer. So there's a decision being made. Maybe your divine counterpart's famous, okay? I don't know. Somebody are you're like you're a hidden star though, for sure, without a doubt. Be careful because somebody might want to try to come in um to get you to sign a contract, okay? But the devil in the Somebody might be trying to get you to sign a contract to be very careful, be think this over, okay? It might be something that's going to put you in the limelight. Make sure you read the fine print. And before you make a decision, you tell them you need time. If they say, no, you need to let me know right now, you tell them to go very respectfully, go fuck off. Okay? With all due respect. Because anybody that, a good business person, they will realize and they would want you to stop and think about it. I wouldn't want to hire somebody with an impulsive, um, you know, that's on like an impulsive, like, you know what I mean? I wouldn't want to do that. No. Um, because then if they're going to do that, you know, well, what else would they, would they get some, if they got somebody else that came up to them with a better deal, would they just go and jump to them? That's the way you got to think of this. So a, a good, a good business person would, would, um, want you to think about it. Okay. Now don't be disrespectful and take too long. Okay, respect their their timelines and everything too. All right, um, but make sure you go inward. You find out and you read every fucking thing with the devil card right next to this here. Be careful you don't get tricked into selling your soul. It's not going to happen. Okay. You're getting a message or. You're gonna be getting a message about these people in savage energy that un that um worked hard to fucking come up against you. Maybe they're deciding to walk away from doing that because they're they realize you're too strong, you're too powerful, and you're you're too gifted. You're too protected. I mean, that misjudged you and you know stole something from you. You're getting a message about this. One million percent eight swords truth has come out, and whatever you're doing with your spiritual gifts, everybody sees you are one million percent real, true, authentic. You know, you do everything right straight from the heart. You're you're one million percent. You're you're a real thing. You're legit. So maybe someone's gonna give you a fucking I don't know, give you a contract or something. Um, offer you a a job or something. Maybe they're gonna give you a TV show or something on YouTube that's gonna get you like going. Or um, a record label, if it's, you know, music or whatever this is. It's something with your spiritual gifts. 
but your divine counterpart knows the one million percent answers truth about you that who you are that you are their ultimate wish fulf wish fulfillment and they are yours all right they're coming in just stay in your truth stay in your power at all times and you have been okay and you got these people in grief pains are agony why because you're moving away there's some sort of hidden move you might be move in silence continue to move in silence okay because you got these people in established energy that, that are working hard to try to stop you, block you, and everything else, but continue to move in silence. And I feel like you have been, and this is why they're in great pants, are agony, because you're moving in silence. These idiots don't know what you're up to, what you're doing, all right? You might have to move for this job offer, possibly. And they feel left out. There's people, of course, you're going to have people that, you know, um, they feel left out because you could possibly be moving away. And somebody in the past that was trying to run as well, because they know they're they they're going they're going they're done. But yeah, they're in grief, pains, or agony because this person, your divine counterpart, has made decision up, or you made decision to you know follow your dreams, and you're moving away. Well, what the fuck? Like what? Why would you not? You found your purpose. Don't don't let other people hold you back. You had your whole think about everything you've been through. You deserve whatever this is. You deserve to live your life. Don't allow anybody to hold you back. Your ships are coming in. You're a spiritual leader again. Like, you're getting some sort of ships that are coming. Also, this is like the authorities. I feel like this group called Common Secret Society might be trying to run. No. They're going to get caught. Maybe you're going to move. Maybe it's like something to do with a church or something. It could be a church or, or something. Something like a religious thing or a spiritual thing. You know? Maybe you're going to get a job offer with a, with a church or, or something like that. Or a spiritual community that's going to offer you a job. Something that's going to be like, you know, put you in the limelight if you're not already. There's a hidden move here. But continue to keep, you know, keep things to yourself. Um, be very mindful, you know, about don't speak about things. Just do it, okay? We don't, we don't need to speak about it. We just do it, okay? This way it doesn't, people can't stop us or block us, all right? Philadelphia can be significant because I just thought of Meek Mill. Somebody could listen to Meek Mill. Somebody could be a rapper. Um, dreams and nightmares. You know, when he's saying, oh, I don't want to sing it because I'll start singing the whole thing and it has like the N bomb in it and I don't want to disrespect anybody. But how he says, you know, talk a lot and I don't say a word. I don't say, it, I can't do it because then I'm going to start singing the whole thing. That's my favorite part of the song <laughs> and it has the N bomb in it. <laughs> but you know, and damn, now that song's stuck in my head. But, um, that's my favorite part of that song, too. But it has end bomb in it. I don't want to um, offend anybody. Damn, bro. Somebody has an entity attachment to them. We had the temperance card on, on the fence. Somebody sold their soul. Yeah, they sold their soul without a doubt for the um, to the devil to become famous. Somebody wants to apologize for stealing from you because they misjudged, misjudged you. You're going to get some sort of quick communication about somebody that sold their soul to the devil getting kicked out. Maybe because our deal with the devil was to bring the devil your soul. That's not happening, sweetheart. Hold on a second, because I'm, I'm I need to find, um, hold on, I'm going to pause this real quick, because I, what I'm looking at right here, I just want to make sure this isn't it. Hold on one second, I'll be right back. I'm just going to pause this real fast. Okay, sorry, I just had to ask Spear or something, because I was, uh, alright. What I got was, somebody fucking lied to your divine counterpart, and, or you, Either said that you sold your soul to the devil, and this is why they didn't want to come through, okay? Because maybe they're very religious, maybe, or they're spiritual, or whatever this is, I don't know. But I feel like they were lied to. They were told that you sold your soul to the devil, or they or they told lied to you and told you that your divine counterpart sold their soul to the devil. Absolutely not, it's your divine counterpart. They didn't, all right? Um, they, were, they, they knew the truth that you are, you know, a divine being, an earth angel. 
you're in the upright but somebody that sold their soul to the devil they're getting kicked out with this group called come seekers whatever this is maybe your ex possibly um because they made the deal with the devil um to bring the devil your soul maybe for you know their deal was they'll get wish fulfillment if they could bring the devil your soul but archangel michael is right there protecting you the whole time like absolutely not Archangel Michael had their, you know, his foot on their, on their neck and his sword getting ready to push it right into their fucking jugular. Um, you're going to get some sort of quick communication. Somebody could have passed away. Possibly. The devil might be coming to collect his soul. Because it was either yours or theirs and it's not going to be yours, sweetheart. So be, be, be very careful, okay? If this is your, I'm not sure it might be your ex. It could possibly be your ex with the King Cups right here. Yeah, it's, I feel like it's your ex, okay? Possibly who did this deal. Um, they're really off. They're, this, if, you, if you resonate with the twin flames, everybody doesn't have a twin flame. But this, if you resonate with a twin flame, okay? Um, it could definitely be a twin flames. I do have the mirror cards, so the mirroring whole thing. Um, if, you, if you do resonate, be very mindful. Your false flame stay the fuck away from them. They're off balance. Because the temperance card in reverse is talking about being off balance. Or maybe they were told that you were off balance, that you were crazy, you were blah, blah, blah. They used your gifts against you, said that you were psychotic, did whatever the fuck it was. The truth has come out about this. Your ex. Now, for those of you who resonate with the twin flame, stay away from your false flame because they're extremely off balance. They're freaking out because they know you're coming into union. Now, their mission, they failed their mission, okay? Um, their whole mission in, in life was to stop you, block you, unalive you, and make sure that you didn't come into union with your divine counterpart, with your actual true twin flame. Well, you're coming into union, okay? There's no if, ands, or buts about it. It's happening. They failed their mission, so they know that they're running out of time. They know they're running out of time, so they're really out of their fucking mind, so it's very important. They're like, if they somebody could, um, you know have some sort of like mental issues and they're not taking their meds they're like a um emotional roller coaster but they're fucking out of their damn mind stay away from this person it's very important stay away from this person maybe and i'm strongly sure maybe your divine counterpart found out or your twin flame or, or soulmate whoever this is they found out the truth maybe they need some sort of healing you are a healer so um I don't know, maybe they're gonna, uh, maybe they're gonna, you know, you, you can heal each other, you can heal, you can heal your divine counterpart, so what the fuck are they waiting for, come get healed, <laughs> like, what, <laughs> be careful though, of your, your false flame, or your ex, whoever this is, because they just want to come fight with you, maybe they're getting locked up, maybe they got, maybe their fight broke out, because they're off their fucking, their, their rocker, and somebody could smoke rock, possibly, and when their goals were to try to get you locked up so that you couldn't come into union. These losers from your past or a couple from your past or these dumbass losers, maybe your ex and also um, these people from your past. Their goal was to try to get you to cause some sort of fight to try to get you locked up so that you, <laughs> excuse me, so that you can't um, come into union. Be mindful. Don't feed into the bullshit. Because just stay in the upright, okay? You know, maybe it's best for you to be in hermit mode. Okay? Maybe I'm strongly getting possibly you might want to stay in hermit mode for a little bit. Just so, um, whatever childish antics they do, that you won't be acceptable to it. Don't, you know, if any of these weirdos, weirdos, you know, from your past, you're so close, okay? So if they try coming in, it's very important for you to just stay away, okay? Just don't answer. Keep them blocked. Keep them on red. Um, or just tell them no. I'm sorry, I changed. I can't. I can't be around your toxic asses. Okay, just be you know upfront with them, or just ignore them. Do whatever you gotta do. Okay, but stay away from them because they're very off balance. Your divine counterpart, maybe they're drinking or something like that. They might need to balance or, or ground themselves or something. Or maybe heal. Maybe they're coming over addictions possibly. Or or possibly you or something like that. One of you, I feel like possibly. But they're going to. They're doing this. They're coming in quick. You're going to get some sort of quick communication. It's 
2024 is your year, my darling. It's our year. You're getting passionate in the beginning. You're getting some sort of quick communication. Maybe you don't. Maybe there. Maybe also September's card in reverse. Maybe you don't. Maybe you won't need much more patient because you've been extremely patient. Okay. But you're getting some sort of quick with definitely over top of the eight of wands. I feel like it's going to be coming in really soon. For some of you, it's going to come in really soon, and your spiritual gifts too is leading you to me like you know get more rest. Okay, you need to get more rest. You're getting some sort of upgrades or whatever, um, spiritual upgrades. You know, you're rapidly progressing. You're getting as passionate new beginnings, all right? So there's some, like, sort of hidden, um, you have a hidden, you're having, like, some sort of hidden gifts. You need to, you need to go meditate more or rest more or something to activate them, to find them. And it's giving you, um, these passionate new beginnings. You have many opportunities coming your way. And these idiots are constantly stopping, blocking, everything else. They're casting a lot of, they're doing a lot of black magic and bullshit. Trying to stop your forward movement. But it's not working. All they're doing is blocking themselves. And they're attacking themselves. They're paying for it too. Um, they're going to pay, you know, for doing this. They're going to want to apologize. They stole a house from you. Somebody stole a house from you. They were paying people to do this, this you know, to be childish. To, to take from you. To knock you down and everything else. Yeah, well, they're fucking done. Yeah, this person sold their soul without a doubt. Look, the truth has come out about somebody selling their soul to the devil. For fame, possibly. And you're getting some sort of raise, promotion. Um, coming from your spiritual gifts, you're getting a job offer. Um, that's going to put you into this. It's going to give you this passion in new beginnings. And it's something to do with your spiritual gifts. God heard your prayers are being answered. And if you've been praying for a house, it's gonna, it's in, you know, you're, you're, you're very, um, stable, okay? This is talking about stability. It's gonna give you, you know, yeah, they want to apologize now, okay? Because somebody might try to bribe you or pay you off with a house or some shit. Don't do that, okay? Anybody in this devilish energy, don't do it. Because you'll be doing a deal with the devil. They had many opportunities, many chances to make this right, and they didn't. To give back what they stole from you, or what they attempted to steal, and they didn't. So God's making it. God's ripping it out of their fucking grubby little, you know, kicking them the fuck out. <sighs> it's a painful permanent ending. Somebody's passing away, I'm telling you right now. It's a completion, it's the end of a cycle. And it's the end of a, it's a completion. Look, we had ten, this is like, you know, the completion, end of a cycle. And, and a painful permanent ending. They're definitely doing death magic. Paying good money for, for death magic too. And this is return to sender. And it's probably to your false flame or whoever this is that sold their soul to the devil. And their deal to the devil was, you know, to bring your soul. But that's not happening. So it's, their, it's going to be their soul. You know, it's not yours. You might be finding out about this. You, somebody passing away. Idiots. Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, Angels, Ancestors, Loved Ones, Passed Away. What is the outcome of this situation? Thank you. Where's the other card? I've seen something flip here. Yeah, Magician. Okay, this one was flipped first. Then this one. This one. And this one. They're, you're gonna, yeah, they're going to prison. They're done. You're rapidly progressing, too. Somebody's in jail. Somebody got locked up you don't know about. They're a pain to try to get you locked up. They cast a lot of illusions to do this. Yeah, they're going to prison. So, like, yeah, they, they're holding on to a house that belongs to you. They have many opportunities to give, to, to give it back. That's not happening. Confirmation. They want to apologize. Um, they paid a lot of money for his fucking... For, for death magic and everything else. That's not happening. You're manifesting this. You're manifesting your new beginnings. You're a rapid manifester. Knight of Cups in the reverse. It could have been like your, your false flame or something possibly. Or somebody that you had a lot of love for. That you know. Came in with a cup of poison. The case of way too many illusions dude. They're done. You're manifesting your passion and beginnings and everything, you know, your justice and everything. They were doing chaos magic. They were doing a lot. 
They, they were doing a lot, dude. They were doing a lot. They're all going through chaos, destruction, of people, mayhem. Because you're a very loving, nurturing, caring person. Your work, your divine counterpart might be wanting to work together with you. Possibly. You're to bring you this victory, success, public recognition, and, and fame. Because the star card's right over, it's over top of the star card. They're watching you. And they're seeing you, you know, they're watching you. But these people are, this, this, you know, these people look at, he's actually like, look at how that card stand like this. And it's looking right down on this, this, this false ass person. Your ex or whomever. But anybody else that worked together with them to steal this house or anything else from you. And that was working with the devil, um, coming up against you. It's over for all of them. You're getting victory, success, public recognition, possibly even fame. They're watching you get this victory, success, public recognition, possibly even fame too. And you planning your whole new world. And they're being watched for all the plans, all their plans to come up against you. To stop you, block you, unalive you. These weird ass people from your past. Your divine counterparts watching you. They're watching your ex too. Yeah. Keep your eyes on your goals because, you know, you're reaching there. Whatever your people from your past, um, is definitely your ex that sold their soul without a doubt. They landed right over top of the Tempest card in the reverse. Whatever their goals were to try to get you locked up. Yeah, that, no, it's not happening. There's a fight broke out possibly between um, a couple and people from your past or your ex. And if somebody got locked up or, or if somebody's in jail fighting right now. Alright. But they wanted to cause some sort of fight for you. So be mindful of this, guys. If this didn't happen yet, this is what they're planning to do. This is what their goal is. To cause some sort of fight to get you locked up. So you can't come into union with your divine counterpart. But don't worry. It's not going to happen. You have somebody coming in and protect you. Because they're being watched. Whatever their plans are. Now they can't sleep at night. They're boohoo crying. Because you're in this king, come, um, king of pentacles energy. Or you're about to be. Because you're getting this generous blessing. You're going to be able to bless the pockets of um, many other people all right they're also sending you chaos magic they're doing um sending you um psychic attacks it's not happening though careful you do have somebody smiling in your face stabbing you in the back that was investing with these people okay and they and they're smiling in your face stabbing you in the back because they see whatever seeds you're flourishing or um whatever seeds you're flourishing <laughs> what <laughs> whatever seeds that you are planting are flourishing beautifully my darling <laughs> All right, if you didn't understand me, I said, whatever seeds you're planting are flourishing beautifully, my darling. <laughs> yeah, because you're the empress. You're very creative. You're very fertile. You're very divine, my darling. You're all the queens embodied in one. Whether you're masculine or feminine. They're in a mental prison right now because they can't stop you. They can't block you. And whatever you're doing, you're doing it. With your spiritual gifts, like what you, it's, you know, you're in your purpose doing what God sent you here to do. Um, so they can't, this is self made. You did this on your own with God, Jesus, and like what you are just, you, what you're doing is you're finishing your, um, you know, what, what you signed up to do in the first place before you came here, okay? You're, well, um, what, you know, the deal that you made with God before you came here, um, and you're, you're you're starting to remember who you are or you do remember who you are or you're about to remember who you are you're discovering it if you don't already know and you're in your purpose doing what god sent you here to do and you're doing it with your spiritual gifts and these fucking schweerdos think they can like do some sort of destiny swap they're fucking retarded um they didn't realize that they're fucking around with an actual true earth angel that was sent here to dismantle these fools you know but um all right, guys, I'm going to leave it here till next time. Remember, God loves you. So do I. Spread love, not hate, always. Meditate, meditate, meditate. Don't medicate, meditate. <laughs> um, Struggle Jennings, love him. He's absolutely amazing. Yeah, but the struggle's real. I mean, it was for real, but it's not going to be no more. You know what I mean? Someone's last name could be Jennings. Alright guys, I don't know. Till next time, remember God loves you. Um, so do I. Spread love, not hate, always. Alright, and don't forget to meditate. Okay, or rest. Get some downtime, okay? You know, um, get some time, like, alone, like, with God, alright? Because our, he's trying to activate something for you, or just, like, you're trying, he's trying to give you a message. He's, or upgrades, or, or something. He's trying to give you a message that you're missing out on because you're not, um, 
you're not relaxing. You're maybe you're working too hard. I, I, I trust me. I understand that. I know how that is. But sometimes we just gotta, you know, fall back a little bit. Um, you know, don't just like stop showing up. You know, of course, continue showing up, but also just try to find a little bit more time. You know, even it's just like five, ten minutes a day, whatever it is. Um, you know, um, or do some long meditations. I don't know. Do whatever you want to do. But you know, God's trying to tell you something. Or or activate something in you. I like to meditate for like a while. Sometimes I fall asleep meditating. It's like you know what I mean. But sometimes I have to do like a quick you know ten fifteen minute meditation. But I usually meditate for at least a half hour hour at a time at least. Sometimes I fall asleep meditating. So, you know because I be in the zone. <laughs> Somebody can listen to Ritz. He's amazing too in my zone. Alright guys, I don't know. Leave it here. Um, till next time, remember God loves you. So do I spread love not hate always. And please do not forget to give God, Jesus, angels, ancestors, and loved ones. Oh look, you're building your bridge. See? You're building your own foundation. You might be moving across the bridge or something like that. Um, or tree. <laughs> I just thought of, um, what do you call it? Jelly roll. Love him too. Um, you know, when he's talking about coming, uh, making it across the train tracks. So I resonate so heavy with that too. Coming out from like the dump, you know what I mean? Getting out, coming out the hood, pretty much, you know what I mean? So maybe you're moving away, coming out the hood, or wherever you are. And even if it's not like the actual hood, you know, it's just like your war zone, pretty much, coming out of your 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 war zone. Alright guys, I'm going to leave it here. Um, spread love, not hate, always. And please not forget to give God, Jesus, the angels, the ancestors, love and the past, way, the utmost love, respect, gratitude, and appreciation for all that they do in our lives. Um, because I'm moving mountains for us to get ready to rain down miracles. Alright. And if you did not hit the like button yet, yeah, you know, if y'all if you ain't karmic, can you just, just do me a favor, hit that like button. It's free, it's for me, it's right there, homie. Um and please if you like to share it, you can share it. Um and please turn that up hit subscribe and turn the notification bell on to all so you can always be updated whenever I put another message out there for you guys. And if you like to donate, you do not have to. It is not a requirement, but it is truly appreciated. The info is in the description box down below. And thank you from the bottom of, oh, but with all of my heart, I had time to anybody and everybody who chooses to do so. And to everybody who has been. Thank you, thank you, thank you. May God bless your beautiful, gorgeous souls tenfold. Alright, guys. Um, this is the last reading I'm going to do tonight. There is going to be one more reading that's going to be uploading. Uh, it's still uploading. It's on my cell phone. I don't know how long it's going to take. Alright. Because it's on my cell phone. So, it, I don't know if it's going to upload tonight or tomorrow. Let's check on that, actually. Let me see how much time I got left on there. What we got here. What we got here is failure to communicate. So, man, we just can't reach. So, we get what we had here last week. Which is the way he wants. Well, he gets. I don't like it any more than you, man. <sighs> Alright, someone's name could be Gary. Of course, it's not telling me. See, this is what I fucking mean, bro. Like, what's this bullshit? It's like, it starts to upload, and then it stops, and... I don't fucking know, dude. This what sucks, okay? Ten, look, oh, it was just 10-10, now it's 10-11. <laughs> it was just 10-10, now it's 10-11. But yeah, it's my last name, realized I got a text message. I don't know, it's not showing, um... It's not showing me. You might want to um, cleanse your solar your solar plex chakra possibly. Because I just had a message um, and it was yellow. It's like the the message that popped up, if y'all seen it, it was yellow. So it could have been an indicator to to um to cleanse your solar plex chakra. Yeah, see, I don't understand what's going on, dude. This is so annoying. It's so it's in my phone, fucking with my phone, without a doubt. I don't know, you might want to pay attention to that reading, okay? When it comes out, you might want to really watch it. It's called Karmix Get In a Locked Up. Well, it has, like, the police, you know, car, because there's only so much room you can put in a thumbnail. Karma Get In Arrested and Kicked Out. Karma is spanking their asses. And I forget what else it says, but that's what it shows me on the, like, the first little bit. Oh, our, um, yeah, karma kick, uh, yeah, karma getting kicked out of home 
Karma is spanking their asses for coming for you, attacking your work and finances. But yeah, it's taking usually when it takes a while, like you know, when it happens, when it somebody's on my phone playing around, it's usually a good, really good message that you might want to hear. And if you have trouble hearing it, guys, it's you know, it's definitely I have my mic to it. You really want to listen to it because it's not, I double check the readings, all right. I always double check the readings, and if it after. <gasps> If I, after confirmation, say after I upload it and I make sure, and if like there, if there is a he issue with hearing, I'll put it, I'll pin it in the comments saying, letting you know, but, um, a lot of people will be telling me that like they can't hear it sometimes and other people, but, like I hear her just fine. And when I check it, it'll be perfectly fine. And I tested it because somebody was even saying they put it on their TV, had it up on full blast. Guys, if you have a smart TV or if you just have a flat screen TV, you can be hacked, okay? People can get into your TV, especially if you have a smart TV, even if it's just a flat screen TV. Um, you know, it's all digital. They can get into it. They can mess with your shit. So just be mindful of that. Um, but I double check it and I put, I'll put it on my, my daughter's room and check the TV, you know, make sure I could hear it too. And if, you know, um, if there is an issue with the sound, I will put it in, like, pin it in the comments. And if there's no issue, then, um, I mean, you can let me know if you want, but just make sure you pay close attention to that reading. It's somebody in your device that doesn't want you to hear that message. Okay? Alright, guys. Have a good day. God bless. And thank you for all your love and support. You are absolutely amazing. God bless. Have